My name is Ilya Zavialov and I'm TPCloud Project Lead. Uh, but you already know that. Thanks to Sergey. Okay, let's start. <coughs> uh, main topic of my presentation is uh, revision control supporting in Tigger Cloud. But first, I want to talk about performance improvement and new functionality uh, in Tigger Cloud backend. Uh, firstly, it's a direct connection between uh, Tigger Cloud service and client location. Second, it's uh, Web assembly it's a really cool tool for TV client. And next, it's uh, update manager. It's our feature which increases performance. So, direct connection. Uh, actually, our previous version of TV Cloud service was used uh, as service only for main web server <coughs> and uh, web server was like a proxy server for transmitting any data and geometry data too. Actually such way uh, leads to huge, in some case, uh, memory consumption and uh, delays between client application and the cloud servers. But from this release, uh, we provide a functionality for communication directly uh, between client and T cloud service API. <coughs> uh, okay, next it's a uh, web assembly uh, tool. It's actually <coughs> new format for building web application, binary web application uh, on any browsers. Uh, and here you can see uh, our measurement results. First, it's uh, an ASM.js uh, version. It's a classic um, client library. And uh, next you can see uh, WebAssembly version of the same client library. Uh, the total size uh, actually takes two times uh, much low size. Uh, in, in the initial editing time uh, takes almost uh, ten times uh, faster. And data version for here we use a 5 megabyte drawing uh, it works in 30% uh, faster, but actually it doesn't matter uh, what size or what size of the DWG drawing. Uh, it will be the same results, 30%. Oh, so on. <coughs> and uh, last thing, it's uh, an update manager. Actually, this uh, interesting feature uh, provides a mechanism for opening any large drawings on any client device. And now I want to show some demonstration of that feature. Here you can see, um, let's open those drawings. You already saw on the previous presentation. Uh, it's a truck model, but actually it's not uh, only one truck. There is a set. There is actually dozens of the same trucks models. So uh, the final size of the of this file is really huge enough. Takes some time for opening. <coughs> okay, here you can see the truck model, but let's do some zoom out. And here you can see uh, a 
update manager updates the geometry on the client side and he transmits new geometry data, new geometry objects. So let him zoom out once more. Of course, it uh, will be depending on the network channel. Design landscape design, sounds 
Strom. So, why actually I remember about Google Maps? Uh, with Update Manager functionality, you actually can repeat the same functionality which works in Google Maps. Not fully, but something similar. Uh, right now you see a lot of small details, small objects uh, on this drawing, but actually uh, you don't see the really small object, because right now they are all collapsed in one pixel. So, right now actually it doesn't need such level of utilization and such small objects. So, let's make uh, one trick. Let's we emulate situation when we got on the clients much uh, lower memory limit, for example, 30 megabytes. Yeah, you can see that uh, you're still able to see the whole drawing, the whole main objects are still available for you. But uh, all small, tiny details, small objects right now is uh, removed from the sand. And it's not a problem to... You, in such a way you can increase your performance of your client application. But if you decide to see some small details, you can uh, do zoom in, for example, here. And now our data manager will uh, upload all missed objects, all small geometry objects. So actually, uh, such way you can use our data manager for opening any large drawing. <coughs> so, how is working? Uh, actually, uh, there are three main steps which you need to perform. Uh, first, you should open the drawing which you want to display. Second, you need set memory limitation uh, for client and transmit this data on the backend service through the uh, our comment. Then you the client application will receive the geometry object. Uh, it's you can see uh, in our samples. But when the user decided to make some uh, camera moving, rotation operation, uh, need synchronized uh, camera position and uh, camera <coughs> properties on the back end. So for this you need to perform the third step, it's a send uh, camera parameters uh, on the back end. So actually, with these three simple steps, the manager will be working on your application with T Cloud, of course. <coughs> Next, let's return back to our main topic. It's our illusion control support in the cloud application. Here, that. Uh, Like them. Uh, I prepared special for this demonstration. Change the usual style. <coughs> so uh, let's open the panel with uh, revisions. Here you can see. Uh, the list of uh, all made it, all committed revisions, and actually the same functionality uh, is working on the desktop applications. 
uh, here you still able to switch between different revisions. You can uh, see properties for that revision. And here is a list of objects which was modified. And uh, you even able to compare uh, able to compare different provisions. Actually, uh, it's the same functionality uh, which works on the desktop application. Here you can see uh, the static objects and with a red, red light, uh, red light uh, collided and uh, the blue objects which was modified during uh, these commits. Okay. So uh, there is a there is a, some little uh, difference between this application because we works uh, on the browser. So in this case, uh, the whole the whole model and uh, all the revision data are located on the back end. On the front end, you only able to see the geometry representation. Uh, these commits and some uh, information about these revisions. And you can control uh, over the API of revision control system through the telecoms. And you, in this case, you got a great uh, possibility for customizing your application. Uh, starting from UI customization, uh, also you can implement some kinds of custom commands uh, if uh, you got very specific use case. Uh, you able to implement your own commands, and uh, you can, depending on your use case, uh, implement any. Uh, behavior of your application. <coughs> uh, another interesting feature: it's a multi-user uh, multi supporting, uh, which actually you can do this functionality on the API, which uh, revision control support uh, support right now. Uh, here yeah, that demonstration too. Let's open it one file. <coughs> it's a small family house. Uh, there's some <coughs> views.
take some time for him to. Yeah. Uh, here you can. Oh, it's already modified. Sorry. Uh, yeah. It's here in private directory. Then this small house object, small house drawing.
Here you can see that uh, you can add some add custom markup objects. Commands to for editing. You know, it's basically you could 
put a text, there's a text, and maybe move some elements. Uh, has it changed the new version? Are there new comments for editing? Maybe in general, what are the differences? Any comments for the TV drawing, for example, if you're allowed to tell you? And uh, the next question is if you're going to expand this set of comments available for TV drawing. Uh, yeah, actually we're planning to expand uh, comments for TV Cloud, but in this demo, which I demonstrate, uh, we used not only our cloud comments, but uh, there was used uh, comments from our kernel, from our drawings, samples. Uh, but for that was used only for adding or removing some objects. But for modifying current objects, we used good point support. And for this functionality, we implement uh, some cu custom comments, uh, how it works. Uh, for selected objects, we um, made a, re a request on the service for getting a list of grip points. Uh, here we display it, and when a uh, user decided to interact with them, we update its position on the backend each time. And uh, in, that, in, in such a way, you can receive uh, small updates with geometry, with uh, modifications. So actually, it's, and in this list, it's available for you. Thank you.